Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking you through my January favorites. So if you're interested in seeing the products that I have been loving the most this month, then just keep on watching. First up, I've got a mask from Paracone MD. This is the Cocoa Moisture Mask, and I love this stuff. It smells like chocolate for starters, which is a huge plus in my books. And it also is really nourishing on the skin. My skin felt so soft and soothed after using this mask. And yeah, I just really like it. It's got some exfoliating beads in it, but they're quite big. Um, so I wasn't sure how I was going to like that, but I actually really did and found that my skin was really soft and bright the next day after using it. I've talked about the Garnier Whole Blends range on my blog and I've included it in past monthly favorites as well. Um, this month though, I've been trying out the Argan Oil and Cranberry option and I love it. I think that this one might even be my favorite. This one is for color treated hair, which I don't have, um, but I just really like the scent of it and it's been keeping my hair clean and smelling good and being really soft as well well so definitely enjoying this Next one. I have a hand cream from L'Occitane. This is their intensive hand balm with 25% shea butter. I love this. Uh, my hands, well my skin in general, can get really dry especially living in Canada in the winter time but my hands I find this year have been especially dry and this has been really helpful. It's very moisturizing, very thick and heavy duty, uh, but it doesn't feel too greasy, which I really appreciate because I don't like when hand creams can be overly greasy. So definitely been loving this. The scent of it, not my favorite, but I can kind of get past it because it does fade pretty quickly and um, my results have been really good with this one. Next up, I've got a chapstick from Bioderma. This is their moisturizing stick and it's actually what I have on my lips right now. I have been wanting to try this for ages after hearing so many great reviews about it and my sister actually picked one up for me and I love it just as much as I hoped that I would. It smells like raspberries which is kind of my favorite and it just feels so moisturizing. It really works fast to repair chapped lips which is a huge issue of mine in the winter time. So I've been kind of using this, keeping it in my handbag um, just so I have it at all times and it's made a huge difference in the quality of my lips. Next month. up I've got a mascara favorite. This is the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. I actually did a whole blog post on this mascara, so I'll leave it in uh, the description bar below, a link to that blog post. You can go check it out if you want to hear more about it. Um, but I just really like this. As the name would suggest, it gives really great volume to the lashes and it lasts a really long time. No smudging, no flaking, anything like that. So um, yeah, I've been using this almost every day. This Next month. up is another lip favorite. This is the Tartus Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in the shade Bestie. And this is a really great kind of darker nude. And I've been wearing it a ton this month. I really love the formula. I've done a blog post again on uh, the, this uh, liquid lipstick range. I love the formula and this color is so pretty. It goes with like basically any eye look that I want to do. And I've been wearing it a ton this month. I picked up a sample of the new Tory Burch fragrance as a 100 point perk in a Sephora order that I placed this month. This is the new fragrance called Love Relentlessly. And I love it. It's got notes of patchouli in it, which is kind of my favorite when it comes to perfume. And it's also got notes of pink pepper and don't remember what else, but it's a really nice scent and I love the little um, roller ball with all the hearts on it and yeah I've been wearing this a lot this month it's a really feminine scent and I really like it my next favorite is a book this is the Lux Life by Fleur de Force I got this for Christmas and I was really excited because I've been wanting it before it came out I really love Fleur's uh, YouTube channel and her blog so I was really excited when she was releasing a second book and I actually like this one a lot more than the first it just has a bit more of a mature feel to it and it's got a ton of great tips and beautiful photographs so whether or not you're a Fleur de Force fan or not I think that you could definitely enjoy this book if you love kind of beauty and lifestyle and entertaining all of that fun stuff. Last but not least I wanted to talk about my Morphe 350 palette. I got this for Christmas as well for my sister and I am obsessed. I think that the quality of this palette is really great and I love the shade range. I feel like you get a lot of really great shades with it and then you also get a nice mix of mattes and shimmers which I really appreciate because I like to use both on a daily basis. I've basically used this every day through the month of January. It's what I have on my eyes today and I'm just yeah really impressed. The shadows are quite pigmented, very buttery and I just 
am obsessed with this palette so I couldn't not mention it. So that completes my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm gonna leave links to my blog and all of my social media platforms in the description bar below so go ahead and check those out. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!